All right, so today's video is a, a quick eight useful tips that will help you secure a job as a wildlife biologist. So first off, I'll tell you, you have to have a degree. Uh, no offense much about it. So whether it's a, a bachelor's degree is fine, uh, preferably in a wildlife management, ecology, wildlife biology, but you have to have a degree. It does not have to be a PhD or a master's degree, but you gotta have a degree. Number two, work well with others. Can't stress this enough. Uh, you gotta get along with other people. Um, most some people go into like wildlife biology because they think, oh, I won't have to deal with people. Uh, I could just uh, work with animals. Not the case. You gotta be able to get along with, with people. So be comfortable with that. Um, Next, uh, I'd say be a decent shape. You don't have to be, you know, really phenomenal shape. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm always, I'm always walking around with like a perfect six pack or anything. So you, you have to be in good shape. So uh, whether it be climbing trees, climbing, kayaking, uh, things like that. So you, you have to do some physical things. Um, be comfortable understanding, writing, interpreting uh, reports, giving uh, reports, giving presentations, writing. Uh, that's, that's all essential. Uh, whether you're a technician, which I've done, working fisheries ecology, uh, anything along the line, you're, you're going to need to be able to uh, understand scientific writing uh, and presentations. Along with that, you need to know how to analyze data. Uh, GIS, huge. You, I, you're going to have to take a stats no matter what, so I recommend you really get comfortable doing stats work. Um, so this segues into having a diverse background. So just with like GIS work, uh, you're going to need to, you know, maybe you might have to have a boating license for certain positions, uh, ATV license, be able to uh, be proficient at, at rope climbing and advanced techniques uh, such as that. Uh, be self-sufficient, number seven, be self-sufficient. Uh, be able to work out in the woods alone, uh, solo if you have to. Um, if you grew up camping, it'll come in handy, some of those skills. And finally, I'd say... Uh, be comfortable working around biological samples uh, on chemicals. So it might be sometimes dangerous things, uh, some of sam samples, uh, certain blood things, uh, and, and chemicals out there. So those are the uh, eight kind of big, uh, big overall all tips that I can help you that will get you a job and will help you get a job in wildlife biology. Thanks for watching.